Hello, my name is Diane Burns. I live in Half Moon Bay, California. I'm going to talk a little bit about my boutique painting, Firebird. I chose to paint the Chinese golden pheasant because of the multitude of feathers and their wonderful colors, and I knew that was going to be a challenge. There is a technical aspect of creating a batik, but I want to talk about how this painting actually came to me. There were two versions of the same batik. The first one, the bird was well done and accurate and technically good, but at the end of it, it lacked soul. So I created another one. In the second version, I let it happen. And while I was moving through each step of the batik process, the bird and its surrounding began to appear exactly as I had imagined it. Furthermore, it conveyed something far deeper than the beautiful bird simply perched on a branch. It became clear that I was painting a depiction of my own personal journey through challenging times. The golden pheasant represents the metamorphosis of the phoenix rising from the ashes. Firebird became my hope of coming through a dark passage into the light again. The art of batik is an ancient one, and the word itself is taken from the Javanese word tik, T-I-K, which actually means to dot. It's a method of applying melted wax to fabric which acts as a resist to the cold water dyes applied one at a time. I use beeswax and fine silk. I knew that this piece was going to require some strategy in isolating different areas from one another by applying the wax to preserve the true colors of the feathers. As the colors are introduced one at a time, working from the lightest to the darkest, they overlap one another and they can often produce unwanted color value. I also wanted the pheasant to be the focal point and not be upstaged by a complicated background. So the simple dark leaves and branches were created simply to support this beautiful and vibrant creature. Firebird became a symbol for me of strength and endurance embodied by its eternal and quiet beauty.